Hello everybody, my name is Ayrathus Kirstukas and in this video I will show you how to make mega menu with Elementor free version by using Elements Kit plugin. Let's begin. If you have a website like this and if you would hover on the menu, this kind menu would pop up and then you have an option if you wanna you just go click and would transfer let's say to this link. So let's begin. First what we're gonna need to, we're gonna need to go to our dashboard. I have deleted the plugin and if let's say visit our site you can see is general astra team menu at the moment on this website and there is no mega menu you need to go to the plugins add new and search for elements kit you find this one and you press install now activate then you're going to the elements kit going to the header footer add new picking header type header entire site activation is on save changes and its header is active if i gonna go now and visit site it would be no header at all because if you go in here and gonna press edit going to edit content so we have a blank page what we need to do we can create from the scratch or we can go to the templates elements kit go to the sections pick the category of headers and then you have free and some pro versions let's go and insert this one free one it has been dragged the logo if you want to go you just need to go and choose the different image and would replace here is basically menu you have to select menu you have main products customer service contact you just pick main where is your main menu and here is social icons where you can adjust by your requirements if you would go you could see facebook twitter linkedin dribble instagram you can add more items or delete if you don't like i'm gonna leave it as it is and gonna just press update now we're going and exiting to the dashboard and if we go would visit our site menu is there basically you can press and it work perfectly so let's make a mega menu you need to go back to the dashboard and you going to the appearance and menus and here you need to press this icon elements kit mega menu enable this menu for mega menu content and then it's appearing this mega menu option for every menu page so you just go and come to mega menu enabling you can save it and then edit content and it's completely empty what you need to go you need to press the section then you're creating the section how many rows you want it to be let's say in this example we wanted that would be free and then we're going to the box we're doing full width that's stretching through the hole first thing what we're gonna need to do let's say is we doing heading let's do like five maybe maybe four and in the middle then you can create page list you're just dropping page list add items text what you wanted to show so let's say subtitle icon if you want you can enable going into library you can pick mail insert pick color and it's a little bit too small so if we're gonna go to the style we're just going to the icon and then we can increase how you want and you can write if you want you can top you have three option i'm gonna be left you have a, a, an idea content and its first page is done so you adding another item page let's say our story in this example icon users it's gonna pick this one going to the colors this one you can enable the label don't skip it let's say you can change actually color if you want uh, just white leaving and background if you want you can change but a red one is perfect for this occasion and then you have advanced styling options you can change it while you hovering you have a paddings if you wanna you can move a bit down if it's too close you just go into the text and then increasing some padding it's a little bit and update save it exit and save it open visit our site and you can see artist 
it's appear here send in blue tutorials let's go and edit more we can add some border border type solid around there update and if i gonna go here refresh you can see this kind now our menu and it's not stretched through the whole page how we can fix it we have to select this go to advanced go to layouts and press dress section date and now if we're gonna refresh it's here and if you would press open new link would load different page it all it all works well okay let's go and carry on so let's do another section i just gonna select this one style border solid Did. let's go and drag some heading five four h3 maybe you see the border straight away appeared because its element has been inserted now go and insert some divider double top and we can lift it up a little bit would be much more nicer this one we can do in the center go back and insert in intersection i'm inserting down two columns because i want to one make for the icon and another for the text going and inserting header sign up to going and gonna pick h5 dashboard for the icons in this example i am using plugin lordicon you can go and download from the plugin section and you can install it this plugin when you install it, this plugin you just go into lordicon and then you can choose the files which one you wanna import it but if you would just let's say go to have a page what i'm doing usually i'm going to my pages no title this one just gonna press i'm using this as a preparation for my icons for the elementor so if you go and would press new add block you could search for lordicon element should appear here and when you inserting here you have a basically then icons which one are free it's basically gonna be here it's kind of difficult to find and see what is showing up you can see those two arrows and if you can resize you can make bigger i mean just too big if you're going to the lordicon you basically have 1505 animated icons i'm gonna leave link in the description you have a plans if you wanna you have a two option you can have 260 for free you just need to sign up and you can straight away use it and if you wanna have it all of them then you need to consider about going on to pro version that costing the money but then you hear it's if you're using free just going to the icons i just gonna let's say search for free for these examples to show you what you can get for free i think is still amazing amount of the item but then you coming you can search for the item let's say alarm clock and when you finding what you like you just pressing button download and download this file json lotte and you can see two three six alarm clock so if you would go to your i'm just gonna save draft you have to go to the wordpress leave it you have to go back to the dashboard to this to the lordicon and then you can choose the files which one you wanna upload i choose six files upload icons and you would get message icons upload successful and then i'm gonna go to the pages i'm gonna edit this one and i have those one already here so i'm just gonna go and change it i want to use 961 this one for the first for sign up and then i get, have to press colorized i'm using two colors if we're gonna press custom one i have a widget i just picked up you can go select you can see i picked up and then i'm gonna go back gonna paste and it's changed color and second one is greenish i have a colorzilla picked color history so i have picked this one before copy and paste and it's all changed then icon size is definitely too big i have to do about i'm doing 100 for this example and then you have a short code here you just going and copy and code here and then going back to the elementor you just searching for the short code widget dragging and dropping here and then pasting the 
code from here and here you are you have your icon it had been split 50 to 50 i keep this one to 25 you can later go and adjust you go and press on this sign and then you go in vertical and i want to do middle i like middle and then we go into the text editor and drop here and we'll write some explanation text typography you can adjust the size the family spacing I want to leave to zero and alignment then go to advance i wanted to bring it a little bit up going to the margin and bringing minus 20. i like it how it look next step i go, wanted to make this all element clickable so how to do this one i just go in and searching for html dragging and dropping here i'm gonna leave this code in the description you just need to go and paste this one it's simple a graft and then this one the link you have to this one what i selected replace with your link where you wanted this clickable element would be redirected after you've done this you go into the html again dragging down and pasting if you're gonna go on this widget you have widget spacing 20 i reducing to the zero and update and now let's go and double check visit our site how it looks you can see it transferable like in here it's completely white so how to fix it if you're gonna go here you're just gonna press here style and then background the classic default and just drag it to completely white and update if you're gonna go here now and you're gonna refresh it would be completely white and link is clickable if i want to click it would direct straight away to my tutorial about how to sign for the sending blue if you want to you could insert even the youtube widget in here but the, what i found in it's so small and might be not really useful for this purpose this time and when you happy what you are created then you easy just duplicating what you are want so i'm going back and i'm going to duplicate few of those which is going on this sign we're going to enable navigator duplicate then i'm going to the page and i'm searching for the lordicon element i want to found 275 in this example going to resize 100 color lies and it's all done and then going here and going copy code going back to the menu page update mega menu refresh so i played a little bit with the margins and shifted it all those more closely and more up so for me it looks much more nicer it take a little bit time but you can adjust as you want by going and going and playing on those element mean minus 50 margin and on this one i'm as well adjusted minus 50 margin we created third item let's double check and it's directing to the subscription form as you can see it working perfectly we've done this section and now the last part we have to make this kind of menu just the text and highlighting and if you're going down you're pressing as well it's directing to the page so how to do it if you're gonna go here we're just gonna copy paste this section copy paste this section and then just heading sign up pick the text which one you want let's say this size style text color you can change it i'm gonna leave it if you're going to background hoover classic take some this color this one transaction update might be a little bit too dark so let's do a bit and we made it just duplicate it change the text just go change the text here and then link paste and update and save it i just move this up update refresh you have a 
basically the menu made and if you would come here you can maybe just make a little bit bigger text if you would like and if you would press it would be redirect to where you want. I would love to hear what you think about the content. Just drop the comment below and share your thoughts. If you get any benefits, please don't forget like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you and bye bye to the next time.